with Jamil. And uh, just tell the viewers exactly what we're doing here today, mate. We've got uh, an illegal eviction threat against my property uh, today, which is the second one in the last week. And uh, we're here to stand firm and rebut any attempt at the repossession of my property. Because the mortgage is void, the whole thing is illegal. And we're here to stand firm, stand our ground, what our God-given rights are, to stand up for them. And that's what we're doing here today. And we've got some wonderful people here. What's exactly the story with your personal situation? The story of my personal situation is about two and a half years ago I ran into financial difficulties um, and then get, got behind on my mortgage. But within a few months of that happening I came across some really good information via some wonderful people that made me realise that it's all void, it's all illegal anyway. So then I've got into litigation with the mortgage company demanding many, many things which they are unable to substantiate, which they are unable to, to provide or prove to me that, that, that this is legit, lawful and valid, which it isn't. So therefore, ultimately, I've got nothing to worry about because we're standing on, on justice and the truth, and the truth and justice of the matter is that there is nothing in existence that says that I'm wrong and they're right. I'm right. That's simple as. You mentioned some forms you've sent in. Could you just ca clarify? Yeah, I've been I've been playing their system with them, um, and uh, so we've been I've been in litigation properly for well over a year and a half, I think. Um, various court forms, submissions, applications to set aside possession orders, appeals. I've just submitted another N161 appeal on behalf of my parents who reside at the property since 1999. Don't worry about the report. If you wanted to talk to him, we'll be down there no, to the house. Don't worry. You don't want it? Is this your car? I'll leave no, it. No, it's not. Is it not? No. Oh, that's a nice attitude to have. It's all right. Just trying to facilitate you, mate. We're not being anything uh, negative. All right. Just tell him what I was. He's going to talk to me. I'll talk to him. What's your name, mate? Just tap him on the shoulder with it, and then you've served him with the document. There you go. Yeah, it's, it's not it's not for his application. And, and, well, the, and the other fellow, and leave it with him. I'll, um, if, you if you don't want to take it. You need to read Excuse me, sir. I'm a community reporter, and uh, I'd just like uh, an interview with yourself. Excuse me, sir. I'm a community reporter. Would you like to uh, identify yourself, sir? I'll take it, the boss is on the phone. I wish. Any of you like to identify yourself? Would you care to identify yourself, sir? <laughs> you know the days of easy pickings are gone, don't you, gents? Times are a-changing. You've got to find another way to make a quid, because this ain't going to work for you anymore, believe me. How long before you took the tech in your house, mate, eh? How long before they're putting you out on the streets? And you'll be stood with us then, won't you? As I say, stick to picking on their single parents and all that, but we'll be there for them as well. So forget it. Time to go home, get another job. We 
Dave. Um, today is the Friday 30th of August 2013 and there was an eviction threat at my property at 11am. This was the second eviction threat that was taking place after the first one on Tuesday the 20th of August 2013 which was last Tuesday, last week. Um, I've been in litigation against a mortgage company for quite some time posing some very valid, bona fide, justified questions that they've not been able to come up with. Unfortunately, we got to the Court of Appeal in Preston and due to my personal circumstances of being made bankrupt in February of this year by a private creditor, I was told at the permission to appeal hearing that I didn't have legal standing. In essence, I was ambushed by the other side and they should have, served, they should have made me aware of what they were going to do. But that's another story. Um, as a result, any stay, etc., on uh, evictions, etc., was lifted. The judge was bound. So uh, we had then an eviction threat, and we've had the two, uh, one last week, and as I've mentioned, one today. And uh, with tremendous support and help from many, many kind souls that have come today, they've given moral support, they've given support on so many levels, emotional support. Just the last week, I only had three people here. Today, we've had you know, maybe 20 people here, if not more. And uh, Certainly sent them a message, didn't it? it? Most definitely, a very powerful message because I had a lot of eyes and ears here today as well, which I didn't have last week. Maybe bailiffs hiding around the corner, a police officer appearing, a state agent turning up. I was tied up inside mostly on the phone to the court, submitting various court documents and applications. So it's been, it's been priceless to have the support of the people here, you know. It's felt like there's 20 of me here today, or 30 of me here today. How, how many there were here? It was me times that amount, yeah? And it's, it means a world to me. And the bailiffs, um, they looked deflated, didn't they? Well, I think the bailiffs operate... I will give it to them, they're doing a job. It's a thankless task, but I, 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 it, they are turfing people out of their homes on a daily basis, illegally. Everything is fraudulent. It's a complete, unlawful, illegal system, yeah? And this mortgage issue that I've been involved with is only just a small part of a far bigger fraudulent bubble, yeah, of the entire system. And I believe that their time is up now. I think we're living on a time in the planet where people are waking up to this reality. And there are many, many people in many, many countries that are setting up organizations. And the internet, admittedly, does have a dark side to it. But I think the golden, positive, light-filled side to it transcends the dark side. And that light-filled side is the ability for me to communicate within a matter of hours to get everybody who came here and people in other countries to let other, to know what's happening in their countries, to have unprecedented information and footage. And, uh, well, you let's know. face it, Jimmy, the baseline is they came here today to take away your father's property. Yes. And his, where, where he lived. Yes. And yes. they failed in that because people stood there and said no. Yeah, because people stood firm and, 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 and we were ready for them to come even up the driveway. They didn't even have the, the, the spine to come up the driveway, did they? They want to hide, hide around the corner. Like, uh, well, I, I, don't, I don't want to use any expletives because I'm being filmed here. I'm sure you can imagine what I'd be saying. But yeah, I mean, they did not get anywhere near here. And, and they knew that we had a force of resistance, peaceful, passive resistance, loving resistance. And if we want to talk about law, their law within which they operate, their very laws specify and state that they can't use violence, they can't use forced entry. And um, we even were ready to give them some notices that I had that highlighted my parents' medical condition and spelt out all the various laws that are applicable to them and they refused service of that. And I believe we have that on film as well, uh, which is uh, very significant. What a powerful message, Emil, last week in Oldham. We did exactly the same thing. We said no, they had to go. Today, we said no, they had to go. And, and long, may, long may that continue. And not only long may it continue, that will be a recurring theme. If more and more people wake up and join us, that's exactly what will change the tide, really. Because ultimately, it's down to us, the people. And, and the time is coming anyway.